Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another art journal and I want to use this new stencil that I got from Prima, the doily is design. And I'm going to use this Nuvo glitter paste. Uh, when I started this page, the only two things I knew was I want to use this stencil and I want to use one of my uh, glimmer pastes. This is gold color and uh, I had uh, the idea of uh, using this doily uh, stencil on the right and left of the page so it creates a nice uh, design and frame on both sides and I am only using half of it on both sides. Uh, in the meantime I can also tell you you will find list of supplies down below at the description area as usual or in my blog. You can also see close-up pictures at the end of this video or in my blog. And uh, here you can see how it looks. It's very shiny and no uh, hassle of uh, glitter going everywhere. I let it dry, uh, air dry. I didn't use my heat gun. Uh, and uh, today uh, I went for uh, a nostalgic experience. I didn't use my dilutions for a very long time. And this is how I started uh, journaling actually. I had these sprays. Even before uh, acrylic paint I was using these. So I selected some colors and I didn't have a plan. Uh, so it's just uh, I chose uh, tones of blue and black. And I'm going uh, with the flow basically. Uh, I sprayed a little bit water as well as you see uh, for the color to flow. Uh, and uh, I'm using my paper towel to get the excess of the color. Here you need to be careful about one thing, uh, the spine, if it goes, sips through the other pages. So I'm checking uh, constantly, these pages uh, has black gesso, so I think it's holding it, so it's not uh, ruining my page, but uh, I am putting paper towels everywhere anyway. However, the bad news is, actually I was checking the page at the, on both sides, back and uh, front, forth. However, it actually sipped through until the first page because this notebook is not a very thick notebook. I saw it very late and uh, unfortunately a couple of pages got uh, damaged uh, with this. So be careful to put uh, masking tape on your spine if you uh, don't trust your notebook dilutions and moleskin are stronger but I'm using uh, a regular sketchbook so that's my warning I used uh, shades of midnight blue turquoise and now I I'm using a gold spray as well it's tea stain from color bloom prima it has a very nice gold uh, color and at this stage I decided to dry it and uh, see what I will do next and uh, I'm spraying water all along the edges and I decided to have a frame with this spray black and I spread it uh, all through the borders of my pages. It's a bit hard to explain actually because I was doing it intuitively and was just playing with it. So I had uh, three, four tones uh, from blacks to turquoise, uh, dark blue to the light ones and I just played with them and the result is <laughs> probably uh, a coincidence. Uh, it looks like, uh, it will look like a galaxy you will see but I wasn't aiming for it. So I'm just spraying more water, uh, more blue, dark blue, light blue now, uh, turquoise. And then uh, you will see I will spray a little bit more gold. And uh, at this uh, stage I didn't uh, put my paper towel on top but uh, I dried it with my heat gun to have this density of the colors. And here is the result. I really love it. Uh, how the gold made an effect over the blues and the shades of blues that's coming from the random uh, spraying. So sometimes you don't aim for something and you don't know what's going to happen but uh, uh, amazing things can come from it. 
I decided to splash uh, my gold instead of spraying it so that I have nice uh, splatters of uh, gold. Again, I prefer to have uh, my heat gun to dry them. And uh, here is the final result. Uh, I even like it more now with all the splatters of gold. So I leave it aside and work on my focal point. Uh, this is one of my favorite stamps. It's a big butterfly from indigo, indigo blue. And uh, I'm going to uh, actually emboss it with gold. Now that I have gold elements on it. Uh, so I'm using my Versamark and actually I'm going to emboss it on a black uh, cardstock. So I'm stamp stamping it over my uh, black card. My embossing powder is from Ranger Princess Gold. I'm heat setting it. going to cut it now but uh, you will see that when I'm cutting I will leave a very thin uh, border of black uh, cardstock I'm not cutting it on the edges of the gold uh, embossing uh, that I did but leaving a little bit of a black border I think this will make a better transition and keep the um, shape a little bit more elegant and instead of leaving the black parts uh, black, I decided to use my metallic gelatos uh, to go with the same tones of the background, uh, blues uh, and turquoise, to color the inside of the butterfly. Uh, however, you will see that I won't be happy with the brightness of these colors. Uh, actually, I thought it would be good on uh, black uh, because when I swatched it, it was looking really bright. But it didn't give the same performance, so you will see, I will use my metallic paints from Prima later on. Um, and I am sticking it with uh, tacky glue. Remember, this is a, a spray, so it will move with a matte medium, any water medium, so I don't want to ruin it. Also, to secure my uh, the wings of the butterfly, I am using glue dot on each side uh, only. So that it stays uh, intact and uh, I sticked my butterfly in a way that I can close the spine. Uh, so just watch out with that as well when you stick it. And uh, in the end I used two stamp sets to stamp my uh, sentiment. One is a tall text from Tim Holtz and the other is from Co Concord and Knight Elegant Alphabet. Uh, I embossed it with the same uh, embossing powder I used on my butterfly. I'm using two colors uh, from uh, Prima metallic uh, acrylic paints. And here you will see the uh, result and difference. They are really bright, uh, opaque, uh, covering uh, the surface and uh, matching with my background. So I was really happy with the results I got with these paints. I'm using two shades, a deep blue and a turquoise one, and I'm blending them on the butterfly.
I did exactly the same on the other side and I really love it now. Uh, the butterfly looks amazing and it goes with the background. I love all the tones of blue and black and uh, gold uh, all together. So uh, it turned out really nice. I hope you like it too. If you do, please don't forget to give me thumbs up or uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's how I know you like my projects and I keep doing them. You will find a list of supplies down below at the description area that I used in this project. Also in my blog as well as the close-up pictures. Thanks a lot for visiting and see you next time.